conclusion some conclusion there is a uh, there's some reports of uh ukrainians launching a s200 at at a uh, russian uh, town of a uh, tano uh, tagarot tangarot so uh the ukrainians actually uh dropped some uh s one one or two s200s there are, uh, there's two more being uh, reportedly intercepted by the russian defense ministry uh in their report say they say that they inter intercepted two s200 so that's a surprise they came out of nowhere so i don't expect this to be a common thing uh for the ukrainians to use s200s uh as surface to air surface missile and uh the the russians are also doing missile strikes on ukrainians so nothing much to talk about so far it looks like the ukrainian def uh, offensive is looking uh very bad uh it, it's going really bad the bakhmut ADFK offensive is kind of pointless. There's nothing much to talk about. Crimea is always been a stalemate. And then we talk about Bakhmut, where the Ukrainians have a lot of advance advancement, uh, especially around Klishevka. Uh around Klishevka, this ended, this seems to have ended. And this is a surprise to me. I thought that the Ukrainians will, regardless how much losses, they're gonna take this town or this village. And it seems like the back, the fighting have stopped. So I'm not sure what's happening. Similarly, for the northern part of Bakhmut, is not that far away. Capturing of Yakhine, Bakivka, and then you head into the junction, block the road, hit, capture this junction. Oh my God, the Russians will be you know, crippled in the north of Bakhmut. But this did not happen as well. They can't even capture Bakivka. So yeah this is not this is very bad and then we also have the fighting at Velikan Nova Circa Stato Mayoski um, suddenly went a bit quiet uh the information and uh the Ukrainian is still struggling with Uruzaini I have my doubts on the on the real control of Stato Mayoski something like Petikaki situation for those that do not know where is Petikaki is over here so similar situation over at Petikaki after the Ukrainians captured this town they are not able to push out and they can't even stay within the settlement they are not here they are actually at Lokove. this is the this is the place where they can actually uh, gather troops not petikaki petikaki is the uh, front line and uh they are pushed towards zeribyanki uh all have failed so because there is a major entrenchment north of zeribyanki and the russians also have very strong uh, defenses around this area here so the ukrainians every time they go around along this road they got destroyed so that's the situation so i i don't if i'm pro-ukrainian i would suggest uh or you if you are pro-ukrainian i would suggest don't celebrate too much about style my state i believe there might be bad news uh in the coming days about that town so don't celebrate too early because it doesn't look uh convincing to me to, to put it that way and uh the and then the the main battle over at Robotine, where the main trust is, uh, as I mentioned before, trusting the robot is uh, very painful, and uh, it's indeed very painful. There is a viral video of a one single Russian tank, uh, totally take out an entire armored assault, uh, detachment of the Ukrainian forces, and. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't seen this the video being geolocated just yet. I'm not exactly sure where the where this battle actually uh, occurred. I suspect it's in the northern side of Robotine. That's my sus suspicion. I didn't go and uh, geolocate it just yet, but it's just my sus suspicion. And um, it it looks really bad. Like the but of course, like I said you no. Know, all videos you see or all photos you see online is because someone wants you to see it. So it's not good to use it as a conclusive thing but i just want to also highlight that uh, it is quite uh, costly for the ukrainians to capture robotine and like, as i mentioned this is the main this is the first line of defense i do not agree with surya maps or some of these people on twitter they say that no the first line of defense is actually this one you know they said this is the first line of defense this is the second line of defense i say bullshit man because because if you look, when we talk about the first line of defense at Velika Nova Silka, it's here. So if you follow the line, where do you get? This is the first line of defense. You get it? This is the first line of defense. 
Then the, we have a this so along here. This is also the first line. We have a second line which is a bit short, uh, broken over here. We have some second. This is a second like uh, no 1.5, and this is a second line of defense, uh, which goes below becoming a third line. And then we have another line over around here. This is the this is like the second line, and then we have a third line. You can see. So you no, know, if you try to count it, it's kind of stupid. To, uh, but so but you know the first line is very clear. The first line is a consistent line of breaking uh, of you no know, multiple fortifications and trash line that is putting up together which is why this is the first line you no know, this is the freaking first line it doesn't matter what you say i will not be convinced that this is not the first line this is the freaking first line the except that the second and third line could be even more extensive more heavily entrenched more fortified more dangerous for the ukrainians that doesn't mean that this is not the first line of defense this is if I draw it out, okay. So I, if I draw it out, you can see that uh, this is one entrenchment. This is a this is a trench line. With another trench line around here, another trench line, another fortification, another fortification. Fortification. This is the one that the Ukrainians tried to storm. There's another one just east of Robotine. This one has been captured by the Ukrainians. This has been captured. There's another very small forward uh, forward trench, and then there's a there's another one over here. Ma massive lines around here. To discourage that, discourage the Ukrainians to uh, attack through this direction. This is uh, this is deliberate. They, the Ukrainians seeing this line, they will they will avoid it. This is deliberate because this is probably weak for the Russians. And then the Russian uh, the Russians have another line, another entrenchment here along the road, another one at Rifne. This is pretty much a consistent line. This is the first line of defense. I do not know how else I can explain. This is the first line of defense, which is why the Ukrainians are struggling so hard. So, and you can see that the Ukrainians always avoid all these heavy entrenchment. So until this point, this is the one that the Ukrainians actually tried to storm. And as you can see, storming this is so, so costly. And um, so the, and if you look at the situation at Kamsky as well, it's the same thing. At Kamsky, the Ukrainians actually avoided all these you see all these fortress icons these are all heavy entrenchments the ukrainians have not taken any of that yet the the they did attack this one at zerebyanki from the north and uh, they got wiped out and uh, some of these trenches are even booby trapped or even have artillery already trained on it so the moment the ukrainians went in explosions happened so this some of these trenches can even be you know some of these uh, entrenched uh, fortifications can also be a trap and uh, there is also uh, some anecdotal, anecdotal, uh, you know, some testimony, you no, know, prob probably real, from the Ukrainian soldiers saying that all the trenches, or the all these fortifications are even booby trapped. All the entrance into all these uh, trench lines or fortifications uh, have uh, mines and uh, some sort of things. There is a going to kill the ukrainians so they say that the russians throw some uh, flashbangs or some some tiny explosions to to scare the ukrainians into running into the trench trenches because that's where they think they would be safe but the moment they went into the trenches explosion happens and uh, so the these are some of the tactics that the russians use to you know to kill off all these russian uh, ukrainian soldiers uh, because the russians are defending defenders usually have advantage the attacker have initiative which means the attackers can choose when, where, and how to fight. But so far, the Ukrainians uh, have went on the tank rush, and uh, they didn't work worked out uh, so far. Yeah, and this is a conclusion. Uh, let me know what you think about conclusions. Uh, so far, this is a new thing. Only the pre the past the previous sit rep that I talked about conclude. Uh, I started to do proper conclusions, the real conclusions. So let me know what you think. Uh, should I continue to have co these conclusions because this drags out the video if you probably have noticed anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next update